Okay. Okay, my friends. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this match. Now, she... <clears throat> she is going to... Excuse me for a second there. While I clear my throat. It's a little bit early for me, so... You're probably hearing my voice a little... You know... Uh, living a little bit too fast over there, actually slow, because I believe that the slow, low frequencies are lower. So if your voice is high, it means that... How did she get there so fast? Wow. What? It means that... The, um, oh. Yeah, if your voice is living fast, it means that it's going to be higher. Okay. Unfortunately, my my ghost pearl is not visible over there. Not visible, but it's not visible by the enemy. It's actually visible by Rengar. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ari? Slapped her. Let me take out this. Oh. How lucky is this start for me here? How lucky is this start for me? Actually, very lucky. And you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy Hydra as the... Oh! And I... The Ghost Poro even triggered. Very nice, very nice. Very, very nice. In this Friday morning, there's a lot of luck going on. I think she's going to have, you know, it's going to be taken. But I can do it because I probably won't lose any CS. Let's see. Oh. He mad. Oh, actually, what? That might have been... That might have been good. You know, if I had... Is... The way I was thinking is that she has already killed the blue buff, right? And I thought she might be here. But it turned out that the blue buff wasn't even... Uh... Okay, who's laughing now? Actually, nobody. Okay. You might be wondering what's going on with the hat. Well, I simply added the beanie hat with the beans on it. Just to sort of, uh, you know... To sort of nod at the do a little bit of a nod at the, the fact that a lot of people from Brazil and Mexico and Chile, Chile said that um, they put beans in the ice cream boxes. For those of you who don't know what this is about, it ain't what it is, you know? It ain't what it is. I don't have mana for the, for the stuff, unfortunately. Is she gonna interrupt me? No. So let me just get the big farm items. These are these you know if you go back and you get Tiamat and Cole, damn. You might as well be, you know, invited to the Clarkson's farm as a guest star. As a guest star extraordinaire. Okay. By the way, the second wind hasn't done anything oh it worked but I still hit the E not sure who tricked whom did I trick myself or or did I trick her oh she hadn't used it damn okay By the way, something interesting happened. I finally got the email. I finally got the email where um, I was waiting. You know, where are the propositions for sponsorship? You know, where when are they start gonna start flowing into my inbox? And I finally got the the real one. You know, it's the I'm not gonna say the name of it, um, but you you probably know the game. But the problem was. And it was quite a high um, offer. It was, it was, I think, five-figure offer. 
for a period of time. But um, the big problem with that was that they made me an offer that I cannot accept. The opposite of the Godfather, you know, he gave an offer he can't refuse because it was a threat or something. Um, oh, She should be focusing on the wife. I don't know why she's focusing on the husband, because the wife is the, the thing that sends me back. You know, meaning that if her health goes down, uh, I go back. And they, they really made me an offer I cannot accept. Because not only they wanted a huge amount of videos, which is three, and I think they needed to be a dedicated video. It's a mobile game, you've probably heard it, you know, they, I think they advertise very, very often. Um, not only they wanted a lot of videos, at least in the initial uh, email, you know, they also wanted, um, damn, she tricked me. Imagine if she didn't want to go back. She just took 50 mana from me for nothing. Will I lose that? I might lose it. Okay, she takes it. It's fine now. And, um, they... Not only that, the worst part of all this was that they wanted me to change the channel to have the acronym in front of it, of the game. What? How do they imagine I accept something like that? It's impossible. So yeah, this video is not sponsored by, by that. Uh, it's actually sponsored by, well, let's say the Rift Herald. Rift.rito.lol check it out. By the way, I added controls for a mobile and computer. You know, the same controls are there. And I think they, are, they finally work at least somewhat intuitively. And by the way, again, I posted yesterday on the League of Legends subreddit and the problem, there wasn't a problem, you know, it was, it was blowing up. And unfortunately, uh, Reddit moderators did what they do best and they removed it. And my beef with that is that they removed it for the video being too short because there's apparently a some kind of a limit. No, there's an upper, there's a floor limit to how long a video should be, can be. And it's it needs to be higher than 15 seconds. And you know, when I posted my my little game there, the video was four seconds and it <clears throat> it was sort of, you know, it makes sense that it's not too um, long because, you know, it's just a sort of a thumbnail for the link. But they removed it anyway. So I was not too happy about that. Oh. Unfortunately, she got something in the jungle while I was talking about the about the stuff. So I might have to wait here. Do I have enough? 55. I should stop leveling up my E, by the way. Wow. That was a good gank. Damn, Rengar. How are you so good? Honestly, you know, that was a Chad gank. That wasn't a gank, it was a chank. A little too close there. A little too close there. I'm pretty sure Tony Hinchcliffe got... Um, oh. Got cancelled for that. Okay. He actually didn't get cancelled. Okay, now I come back and there's going to be huge farming going on when I come back. The farming that's going to happen now, damn my friends, it's going to be over 9,000 if I can be 2010 for a second. Okay. Okay. Can I be useful? I think I can. Uh, 
Oh, wow. I, I actually was useful because I slapped her. How did I collect that? You know, that's one of the fun, really fun things about playing Dark Harvest is that you collect stuff you didn't even know exists. You collect stuff you didn't even know exists. Let's see what I can do while the tower is crashing. Slapped it. Slapped it. Not the tower is crashing, but the waves crashing. Wow! It didn't crash. It actually froze. Or did it freeze? It, it sort of semi-froze so that I lost the wave. But she also lost the wave, you know? Okay. Can I get the red buff? Oh, what are you doing? No, no. No way, Jose. She goes back. Let's see if I can help with the GP there. It's much, much easier to... You know, if you, if you have choice, if you have shoved the wave, I've noticed that... It's much easier to help the top lane than it is the bot lane. Yorick is really allergic to bot lane. I think just because of the all, all of the... What are you doing, man? Wow. How did he survive? Because he flashed. Yes. <laughs> Why am I surprised? Why am I surprised, my friends? Oh, it froze again. I'm using the word freeze wrong, because this is not freezing, this is just 50-50. I wonder if there's a way, if you shove, you shove in such a way that it bounces back with a bigger wave on the... I know that that can happen in top. I think it's when... I think one way you can do it 100% is if your wave is so big that while it's crashing into the tower, it stays there for such a long time that the second one comes from the, you know, enemy side. And that's when it bounces back with a bigger wave and that's what you want. But unfortunately, you can't do that. There's only very, very specific situations where you could maybe do that. So no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Now, the really fun thing about this playstyle that's happening here is, well, first of all, I'm li a little bit fed. I'm, I'm a little fed, right? And the really nice thing about this is, oh, Rakan, is that they need to have an answer to me, you know, in a sense, because I'm going to stay here around the cookie jar because that's, that's one of the safest places for Yorick to be. Because of the wall, you know, you can block off whole passages. Oh, and she checks it. She sees that. Oh. Okay. V is not going to be here, so I can recall with my... I can do an ego back here. Easy ego back. I might have to finish boots just because I have a cool 600 right now. I also might have to TP to mid, so that I can I can shove the wave perfectly. I've noticed that if you can shove the wave perfectly, which means that it doesn't slow down your wave. Okay, it did slow down it a little bit, but I think it's enough. It's good because uh, these guys are going to start crashing, and, and it applies kind of like this mental pressure to the enemy. Yeah, V's, you know, she needs to come out. Yeah, and I think I have won the game, haven't I? I think 10 CS per minute is uh, right on the doorstep. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Although I should have been faster, a little bit faster here in mid. A little bit f faster back in mid. Okay. I don't know what I can do before the next wave. Okay. Nami. Let me do a perfect shove again. Not again, but at least once. 
And look at this, Yorick doesn't need to finish the sh shove because the ghouls are going to finish it for him. Which is, which is really, you know, if I had something here, something to do here in the river, that's kind of cool, right? Because um, Yorick shove fast. Yorick shove fast. Yeah, look at this. These guys are going to finish the shove. Although Jinx is going to mess it up. I did not expect her to do that. She actually didn't. Very nice. Very nice. The shoving expert, Yorick. Okay. I think for my next item, I have to. I have to get the collector. Because I might be able to... This Nami might be ripe for slapping. Nami is one of the weakest supports in terms of um, defenses. Her only defensive ability is R. Okay, she has two. <laughs> but, but if she fails them... Okay. I have to be careful because uh, they might... They might come back into the game. They are... No, they haven't even... He doesn't have flash, right? Yes. Was that the last? No, it wasn't. It's Jin. I still have to get Jin. No, not gonna, not gonna go here. Because they are not doing anything on the map, and why would I? Why would I go there? Why would I go there like that to endanger myself? It's better than this. That this, uh, you know, crashes here. GP might even TP there. GP might TP. Okay. I didn't mean to take these guys, but I had to. Because they were in my way. Okay. Hopefully they don't see any Mars bars in the middle and don't fight there. Sometimes people see Mars bars and, uh, you know, that's how they die. And that's how the the wrong pings come your way. Because if you don't stop your mid laner from roaming and, and, it, and they kill someone, that's when the good pings come in. Oh, very good. What is... What are those... Um, what? What are those? Let me release her. No. V was running away from us and she ran into Yasuo. And she killed him. Okay. Okay. Now they won't win the game. Unless they find an answer to me. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of egotistical. What? So he pinged it. Okay. He pinged it just to... I don't know, these, this Rengar's pings are not really that great. I have a $500 bounty on me, so careful with all that. Let me leave these guys to push again and just go back. Oh no, I need, I think I need more. Yeah, one, 1225. I don't want to die. Obvious statement, of course. Obvious statement, of course. I think... I can shove it fast if I stay here like this like this I can shove it yeah there it is if we get this Baron it's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be a cool situation damn I like these sneaky Barons I feel like Yorick is very very good at helping with those Although, in this this time, I didn't 
help too much. I might die. Yeah. Someone's gonna say nice Baron, I think. Because <laughs> this was definitely not worth it. Especially since, you know, I had such a huge bounty. Yeah, it was 1,200 and then 1,700 for them, at least, you know. And we only got 15, right? Three times, five times three, yeah, 1,500. So if this Yasuo does some crazy plays with that Baron buff, maybe it was worth for us. And now I think... Um, it's not over, of course, but it's because all sorts of things happen, but it is it is definitely a huge thing for if that they did this. That's a big big uh, win for them. Big big win. Okay. And this is a win for us. Damn. Very nice. Nine times V, thank you. You know, the tilt never ceases to amaze me. People just turn in the wheel of tilt again and again. The same things, the same brain patterns, the same thinking, the same, you know, logic. Even though League of Legends is so predictable, you know for a fact that the games are going to be, you know, either you're going to be winning or you're going to be losing. There, In reality, there's no reason to keep all the time saying that report this, report that, report, you know, this guy, report that guy. You know, maybe once every three games, there's something that can maybe be classified for reporting. But um, that's about all. That's about all. By the way, people explained that the problem with the Vanguard is that it's a very invasive software. And... Um, oh, now they... Now our team is the one who's tilted. But I'm pretty sure there were no, no Mars bars over here. Why was this guy dead at the tower? So maybe... The tower was the Mars bar. Hopefully the tower doesn't... Oh, I got it. You know, I was about to say hopefully they don't kill it so that I don't get the gold. But this was the, one of those lucky times. Please, Riot, if you're watching this, can you please fix the bug where Yorick doesn't get... I, I get that it's not a bug, you know, it makes sense code-wise. But come on, Yorick does deserve that gold for that tower. And by the way, one really, really fun thing was that on the when I posted my the Rift, Rift, uh, the Drift Herald game, uh, a Riot employee responded to it and said that, you know, said that it's a cool game, and it reminds them of the, um, the when they made the Herald uh, itself in in game. And that it um, that it was unusable at first, and uh, you know the controls. There was a basically kind of like a okay. They basically said something about the controls reminding them of how it was sort of un unusable in the beginning during the development process. I really don't know what Mars bars uh, are they seeing in mid over there because I think Yasuo is going to push that. Damn, it would be nice if he would continue pushing this so that Maiden can push this. Yeah. Apparently Rengar thinks that there indeed was, there indeed were some cookies hidden under the I don't even know in mid lane okay I'm 
wonder if I can jump on this Nami. There it is. It, um... Was it, uh... Oh, damn. <laughs> you know, it wasn't... It was a good bait. Oh, it actually was because... Uh, it was because they had a ward here, I believe. So she saw me ward this. So it was a... The elusive stealth ward bait, which works only on supports who have um, the Oracle lens. Yes, in this case, it wasn't worth because I died, but it was still a bait. And I still feel like um, I would do it again. I still feel like I would do it again, my friends. Okay, let's see what I can get as my last item. I think I think Umbral Glaive is in order. You know, since there are many Mars bars on the map right now, I will... I will buy the Elixir of Wrath. Oh. Damn, all of the ghouls. Slapped him. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Unfortunately, we, both me and Yasuo, went for Gangplank, so it it was a win, macro win for the enemy team. Itty, what itty. Sorry. Sorry that happened. Could have maybe TP'd a lot quicker so that, um, you know, Ari isn't able to protect that inhibitor there. I don't know. Okay. I might be a gap this game, you know. It's really hard to tell often, oftentimes, just because, um, you know, it's just very hard to quantify what are you doing as Yorick. It's really hard to quantify that. Careful. Oh, she knows, right? She knows that the ghouls sometimes just can s start attacking her. Yeah, Ari might be, you know, doing more than I am. Um, but uh, I still have... I still have time to fix that. I still have time to fix that. I wonder if Yasuo is going to win that one. That would have been embarrassing if I died there. I could have, by the way. Could have died there, by the way. I don't think we get the Baron now because Yasuo died and we have to protect it. And by it, I mean the tower. Okay, she's gonna do it. And they're gonna go for the Baron now. Okay. They are indeed going to go for the Baron. Okay. Oringer. How did he not know that's gonna happen? Okay. How did he not know that's, that's gonna happen? Okay. Is Yasuo gonna save that Baron? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I have to come here, you know, just because the if they get it, it's just a, such a huge thing. I know it's very unlikely that we, you know, save something there. Okay. Maiden, where's the speed? Maiden speed, there it is. Or is it? Okay. Damn, 
Ari is legendary. You know, I would argue that she became legendary because um, there are a lot of unnecessary fights, but unfortunately it is almost impossible to argue that um, because, well, it's, it's very easy to argue that, um, okay, that you should have prevented that, you know, you should have prevented those easy fights. Wow, she's so strong. Okay. Okay. Let me focus here and try to... So there's going to be the dragon fight, which is going to be the big one, right? And um, the question is... Okay. The question is, can I do something before it happens? And by something, I mean release Maiden Top. By this elixir again. And then go mid. Can I do that? And just win, you know, through mid. Where's the Mars bar? Damn. My friend was... Oh. That was actually not so bad. That was actually not so bad in the end. Ari was very, very unlucky in the... He tapped out. Oh, these crits. What? <laughs> what is that? Every few seconds gangplank... Yeah, that's... That's the thing that I that made me die, right? Yeah, damn. I think if I hadn't died, we would have a real shot at uh, getting all this now. We would have a real shot. You know what I'll do? I'll sell my boots for Edge of the Night. Because I feel like Edge of the Night is a very, you know, gangplank. It's, it's a huge... You know, if you count what it blocks, that's like a thousand, maybe more. In terms of, in, in case of Gangplank, for example. So I think that the way we win, the surest way for us to win is for me to hide in bushes somewhere. Wait for some squishy champion, which is, by the way, everybody. Okay, except me. Some squishy champion to appear. Oh, okay, okay. I can I can see that as being a real possibility, too. If he survives. Okay. There's Yasuo. Can't really save him here. Enemy team too fast. And they smell the blood, right? Do they? Do they smell the blood? <laughs> yes, they do. Well, I think it might be over. We'll see. Maybe we, there's one more fight in us. But um, I actually, you know, Rakan, this might be the situation where this guy needs to be reported because I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's farming. Very, very, in a very, very sad way, he's farming. And by sad, I mean the, the lack of, you know... You know how when you don't have damage, it's very, very unsatisfying the way you farm? Okay, my friends. Thank you for watching this match. It was kind of fun. Too bad we lost. But itty-woody-dee. I'll see you in the next one.